Hey there, this is Adam with FreeFly Systems, and today we're going to be introducing you to Pilot Pro with Alta X. We're just going to run through a few of the basic controls. Over here on the right, you have your pitch and roll. On the left, you have your climb, descend, and yaw. In the middle, you have your mode buttons, position, altitude, and manual. If you're not a really experienced pilot, we recommend that you seek pilot training uh, before you go into a more advanced mode like manual or altitude. They are available for emergency situations, which you can read about in the wiki. Position mode is what we're going to focus on today, and it will default into position mode when you boot up the system. Over here, you have the RTL, or return to land button. And in the left side, you have a safety covered emergency kill switch that's only to be used in absolute emergencies or when you just need to kill the motors. Rare circumstance, but you don't want to have to hunt for that in those situations. All right, we're going to look at the ground station software here, Q ground control. Up above, it gives us a little bit of information that's critical to our mission, our uh, GPS satellite coverage, our battery, and our telemetry stack. So all very useful information while you're in operation in flight. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna briefly go over to the settings tab here, which is a little gear icon. And on the left, we wanna go to the Alta config tab and just make sure a few of the speeds are set up good for a first time Alta X pilot. So max velocity in mission, I usually set that to five meters per second. Down here, max allowed speed in position or auto modes, bring that down to 10 meters per second. It's defaulted at around 20, so getting it halfway is, is about right for uh, getting to know the aircraft. Something else to peek at is the hover thrust setting. That helps you tune uh, to the specific payload you'll be carrying under Alta-X. Since Alta-X is a heavy lift platform, you want to fine tune that. If you're flying little to no payload, just starting out practicing, set that in the low 30% range. Um, it'll usually ship around 40, 41%. And then we also want to look at our safety tab here on the left. We want to make sure that our fail safe actions are set up appropriately for the flight we're about to make. Usually your battery fail safes are going to be appropriate uh, as their factor default. But what you do want to look at for every flight is your return to home uh, mission altitude or your climb to altitude. I'm set at 60 meters right now. That's usually about right to clear general buildings and, and normal sized trees but make sure that you've uh, appropriately scouted out the area and that you will clear any objects if you are in a RTL situation. I also set mine up for loiter and land after a specified time of 10 seconds at 10 meters. So what that means is it'll basically come back to the hover point above takeoff, wait there for 10 seconds, and then it will proceed with an automated landing uh, in, that, in that situation. That will work the same whether you trigger RTL on your uh, controller or if you were to lose radio link for some reason, it would be the same action. If you trigger an RTL and you want to interrupt it, you can do that at any time by clicking the position mode button Reject again. Position As you can see there, the ground mode. station's talking. So if you need to take control back at any time and you feel like you don't have stick input control, click position mode, and then you should be back in control. We will cover uh, in the wiki and through any of our training material, we'll, we'll cover the emergency situations, how to handle other modes flying in those. But for today, we're just focusing on very basic takeoff, basic control and landing in position mode. One other important item to note is just the position of your antennas on the Pilot Pro. You wanna either run them vertically, as you see here, or you can point them down so that they're always parallel with the vertical antennas on the Alta X. That's gonna give you the best radio performance Namely, you just want to avoid pointing the tip of the antenna as that's the weakest point of the signal on any antenna. So just generally point them vertically, have the broad side of the antenna at the aircraft. All right, let's head out to the field and we'll go through our first pre-flight check and flight. All right, welcome to the field. We're going to run through a little pre-flight check of Alta X and the Pilot Pro, and then we're going to perceive a little uh, intro flight. So to get started, we're just going to open up the Alta X. I'm going to remove these straps. And just for convenience, you can throw the straps right here on one of the booms. We're going to go ahead and open up the booms all the way and immediately latch both of these boom latches. They're red anodized handles here. Just make sure those are fully engaged. All right, it's also good to check your antennas. Make sure that these are facing straight down and that the SMA connections are snug. Um, that's going to be the best orientation for range with your aircraft and to keep the RF signal coming cleanly to the antenna below the carbon fiber. And you can also leave your toad in the hole connection loose 
uh, if you're using this type of landing gear so that you can rotate the drone and inspect it. I'm gonna start over at motor number one and we're just gonna quickly go through a pre-flight check of the props and motors on how I like to do it. So I'll give you a detailed walkthrough on this one and then we'll, we'll go all the way around here. So the first thing I do is with, with no batteries on board, just give the motor a spin. Once I see that it's running smooth, I'm gonna get a little tug upward and feel the front and back leading edges of the propellers. Make sure there's no chips or cracks on them. You can also inspect your active blade hub at that time. Make sure that everything looks healthy and uh, is set up correctly. Then you wanna run down the boom, checking it for any nicks or cracks, as well as your boom struts. And you just wanna make sure that they're not uh, under any pressure or load, that they're nice and tight, and that the ball links look healthy and all the fasteners are in place. Um, so that's just a basic check. Uh, there are more detailed uh, walkthroughs of inspection of the aircraft for various uh, hours of flight in the wiki. So refer to those. Let me just quickly go through all these here. We'll fast forward it for you. All right, we have a healthy machine here. Um, we're gonna move on to adding batteries and uh, pre-flighting the software to make sure everything looks good before we fly. So mounting up batteries, going to put the right battery on first. That's so that the battery cables will nest over each other neatly. You can add them in either direction, but it does make it a little easier this way. And then I'm just gonna, in this case, uh, line up the nose and aft of the aircraft how I prefer it and lock down our toad in the hole connection. If you're running a different type of landing gear, obviously you'd wanna check um, like your T-style connection points, make sure those are secure and locked down. It's at this point, you would run through your complete checklist to just keep the video short. We're gonna just do the critical items, but always use that checklist and add any you know custom hardware, various payloads that you're gonna be using to that checklist so nothing critical is missed. All right, we're gonna set Alta X down out in front of where the pilot's gonna be flying with the nose facing away from the pilot, the tail facing towards the pilot. It's gonna be red lights at the tail and green lights at the nose. At this point, we wanna double check all of our flight critical items. That's gonna include our boom latches. That's those red latches. So we're gonna visually check those again, make sure they're locked. Right above that are the battery straps. We're gonna make sure those are securely uh, strapped down. Then we can go ahead and plug in each battery one at a time. Firmly connect each one. Make sure there's no yellow connection showing. And then we're also gonna confirm that whatever payload we are flying is secure. In this case, it's just our cargo landing gear with a toad in the hole connection. So I'm making sure it's latched and secure in the orientation that I want it. The next thing we turn our attention to is to confirm we're getting a GPS lock at the RTK module. That's gonna go from fading blue to fading in and out green. And then we know we've got a 3D lock and we'll have a fail safe home return point if we need it. All right, at this point, we're ready to fly. All right, so assuming all pre-flight checks are cleared, we are ready to uh, scan our Q ground control and make sure everything's ready for takeoff. So across the top bar here, we have a lock on 28 satellites. Um, our battery is good, it's actually sitting at 100%. We can tap on that and see our voltage as well if we want, so almost 50 volts. So batteries are full. We are in position mode, confirmed both here in Q ground control as well as our OLED screen. And everything looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and arm the motors. To do that, you pull the left stick down to the right corner for about one and a half seconds. And then we can let it come back up. We have four smoothly idling motors and then we're just gonna gently push up on our throttle stick. We're gonna break ground contact and then the Altax will be hovering for us, nice and smooth. If it's your very first flight at this point, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to use very gentle, small inputs on the sticks and get to know the aircraft. We can make a small yaw maneuver to the left, that's responding correctly, straighten it back out. Then on the right stick, we can do a very gentle move to the right, very gentle move to the left, and find that it's hovering nicely. So everything looks good. Um, we can see on our map that we have a live view of the aircraft's position over the satellite imaging, and we have our altitude and ground speed. This telemetry stack can also be customized by hitting the uh, gear icon. So you could come in and turn on voltage, for example, and now we have that live right here as well. So just customize that to your liking. Got heading and artificial horizon here as well. So everything's looking good. 
I'm gonna just walk you through a, a short landing here. So you'll get over your uh, intended landing position. You're gonna get down to about head level and make sure the aircraft is hovering stable. Then you're just going to select a nice steady down rate towards the ground. Connect with the ground and then pull the throttle all the way down and hold it. After several seconds, the motors will shut down. Disarmed. And you will hear disarmed. So that's just a basic takeoff, maneuvering check, and landing. All right, thanks for joining us for this brief tutorial of getting up and running with Alta X and the Pilot Pro Controller. I just want to emphasize that this was not a comprehensive tutorial. It's just to help you get up and running safely, know the basics, um, but for full comprehensive understanding of the equipment and operation, we recommend that you thoroughly read through the Pilot Operating Handbook or the Wiki on our website. If you're still not comfortable or you have any questions, reach out to our support staff or book a training with us and we will walk you through everything and help to make sure you're an expert and safe pilot. Thanks again and have a great day.